Life, some of the world's most iconic superheroes. Stan Lee died at the age of 95 today. The comic book icon was a pioneer of printed comics. You also have him to thank for some of the biggest blockbuster hits from the past few years. KCTV 5's Betsy Webster spent today talking with locals about Stan Lee and Betsy, he made an impact on people of all ages. Oh, absolutely. You know, Stanley's legacy with Marvel Comics includes an exhaustive list of characters. Silver Surfer here is just one of them. But he also was part of a movement that took comics from being a sort of a subculture into the mainstream. Stan, Stan, Stan. Look at the stacks of vintage comic books at Elite Comics in Overland Park, and nearly all involve characters Stan Lee created. The guy that created James Bond is famous. He's created one iconic character. I mean, Stan Lee's created a hundred. It's not just the number of characters that make Stan Lee stand out. It's how he wrote them as flawed, human, relatable. All of Spider-Man's problems were there was villains, but most of his real problems were about being a teenager. You can put yourself in his shoes and make yourself feel like him. Mason Bridge identifies with Spider-Man. He was like me, like how I am right now. He was in a shell. He, until he got his superpowers and he got more confident. But the power of Lee's creations extends beyond kids. He was the first to turn comic book storylines into complex, relevant narratives, which allowed aspiring artists to turn what was once just kid stuff into modern day art and literature. I think he is arguably one of the figures in the 20th century that has had the biggest impact on culture in general. It's a feat to marvel at, from modest beginnings to the mind behind a multimedia universe. And you know, when I asked that assistant professor there at the Art Institute, what made Stan Lee a household name? He said, you know, in some ways he was a bit like Andy Warhol. A lot of artists want to stay behind the scenes, but Lee was happy to put himself out front and center with all those cameos in the Marvel Cinematic Universe to countless autograph signings. He pretty much eventually became the face of an entire genre. Live in Overland Park, Kansas, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.